especially for those of us who came from far you didn't come to waste your time you see let me tell you something about a call and a ministry listen listen see, when god calls a man the anointing is not the only thing that is given you have to understand this every ministry has many standard spiritual features when god calls a man please listen there is an anointing that is upon that man by reason of his knowledge and his personal press into the things of God. There is the anointing that is on the office that that man occupies spiritually. There is the anointing that is on that man by reason of discerning and being part of the current move of God. They are not the same. Are we together? And then there is the anointing that comes by reason of the dimensions that God wants to take people into based on the truths that are revealed. And then at certain levels, depending on the call and what office, there are covenants. Please listen. That means a vow that God made with that man that as far as it relates to this assignment i have bound myself to do certain things that has nothing to do with even the vessel you see that then there are angelic manifestations listen now there are angels that work with believers There are angelic presence. Please listen. As a believer, he said his angels, she shall put his angels charge over you. There are angelic presence that work with believers. But there are angels that don't follow a man. They follow anointings. They don't need to know who that individual is. It's an office. The same way they give you an office and there are cars, there are PAs, they don't have to know you. It is part of the equipping of the kingdom. You see that? It's very important. And then there are also angelic presence that signify revelations. It is not only the anointing that gives revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which he gave unto John, his servant. He said he sent it and signified it by his angel. Hallelujah. So, when you are in a meeting like this and you see things like this happen, it's an interplay of many things. It's not just a generic move of an anointing from an anointed man. There are things happening that have nothing to do with the vessel himself. There are things that are as a result of the health of the secret place of the vessel. There are certain things that are based on the office that is being played. I just wanted you to learn and to know this Because many times Believers just wonder Look let me tell you this Let me tell you this You see These things God is blessing It's not just That God is proving That a man is anointed Some of these people fall in Many things are happening At the same time There are deliverances There are impartations There are the, the opening spiritual vistas is like a veil just being open to movement into dimensions this is how people grow this is how people grow it is not my desire to carry some of these graces and these possibilities and just have people watch it <clears throat> when God sends a word to Jacob it is because of 
Israel. That you will also be able to carry these dimensions. You see, transformation is difficult when there is no reference. So God finds a man that represents a possibility. And then your spirit and your mind is able to comprehend that dimension as true and possible. Then you can release your faith and step into it. Koinonia, we call it. Is it alright if you pray for one minute? And just ask the Lord. Say, Lord, all the graces, all the revelations. Pastor Alpha, let us know. You don't have to stand. Just pray. Please pray with desperation and hunger. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. Revelations 4. Tonight will be a mighty time. It will be brief so that we'll pray. We pray for grace. We pray for strength. Revelations chapter 4. I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and I will show thee things which must be thereafter come up hither and I will show thee things which must not may be certainty. Things which must be thereafter. Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. Jeremiah 33 and verse 3. How can I see by myself Unless you take over I'll never know it on my own Unless you take over Take over Jesus take over Take over, Jesus take over. How can I see by myself unless you take over? I will not hear it on my own unless you take over. Take over, take over. You cannot learn it on your own Unless it takes over You'll never see by yourself Unless it takes over Listen There are dimensions you can never see by willpower and study it is given like an initiation until your eyes are open you will never see it he said call on to me and I will answer I will be the one to show you if I don't show you you cannot see it you can study you can pray you can fast but for seeing you may have eyes but you can never see it there are realms that are shown 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 it's called fellowship with the mystery. You are brought into oneness with truths and revelations. We'll never know it by ourselves unless it takes over. We cannot know it by ourselves. Oh, 
I'll never hear you on my own Unless you take 